thank everybody for taking the time out to click on this video. If you haven't yet, please take a second to subscribe to the channel and share the videos with your friends. These videos take a lot of time and energy. If you would like to help the channel grow, please donate to my PayPal in the description box down below. And a link to my Patreon where you can receive additional content will be down there as well. Now let's get on to your video. Hello Leo, this is Craig from Hacking Spirituality and I'm here to do a love reading for the zodiac sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising or Venus. Cross watchers are welcome. Not all messages may resonate. Um, I just recently picked up the new print of the Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue and I'm going to do a Celtic cross for you today with uh, pulling you one angel card from the Romance Angels. So what is Leo's Codependencies. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So with this card up here, there could be some sort of codependency showing up from the past or someone that you were very codependent with or was codependent upon you. Um, they could have been codependent on you emotionally or financially, but there is definitely um, some sort of codependency that's holding you back right now, Leo. Let's go ahead and see what your Celtic has to say about this, and maybe I'll figure out a little more why the codependency is there. So what is Leo's current situation? Ten of Pentacles, actually finding your treasure. Um, this could actually be something... Um, a long-term relationship as legacy as well as um, possible inheritance. Let's go ahead and pull what's crossing this energy right now. Something that can help or hurt the situation. Let's see, I need to know for something that can help or hurt the situation. Three of Wands, waiting for your ships to come in, is something that can help or hurt hurt the situation. So there may be a need to be patient in this situation. Um, I also feel like, like the codependency might have been someone depending on someone for money more with that uh, Ten of Pentacles showing up in the center of the reading. Let's go ahead and see what your past issues were, Leo. What was Leo's past issues? Tower. So, like I said, the codependency could have been someone you financially dependent on someone else or someone else financially dependent upon you. Um, the recent past issues was a tower, so some sort of shake-up or sudden event. I'm going to go ahead and pull a clarifier on that to see what this event entailed. But this is something that happened sporadically and out of the blue, and it wasn't foreseen. And uh, you definitely didn't expect it to happen. So what was the event? Queen of Swords. Um, this could be someone actually who cut you out. And I also got this in Cancer's reading on their thoughts. So you could have cut someone out in the recent past, Leo, or someone could have cut you out. And this wasn't foreseen. No one, the person who got cut out definitely didn't see this coming. So um, that's almost a ghosting combo when you have someone cut someone completely out of their life and it's unexpected. Um, that could be very traumatic for a person, too, to go through where... It's just a sudden event. It can cause PTSD um, symptoms as well as um, nightmares and a lot of bad stuff can come out of people that just don't communicate maturely with someone and just kind of vamp out on them or ghost out on them unexpectedly like that. So if it was you going through this energy, I definitely... Um, feel for you there, Leo. So let's see what was in the recent past. Eight of Wands. So this is Cupid love air, Cupid's love arrows as well as possible air travel. So you could have been traveling in the recent past. Also with the three of Wands there that's waiting for your ships to come in. But that also represents a little bit of travel mixed in there with the Ten of Pentacles. So, um... There's a strong possibility this is travel or some sort of strong communication, um, text messages back and forth, 
See what's on your thoughts. I'm gonna give you another clue to why the Eight of Wands is there. Nine of Wands. So currently, right now, you—that's the Wounded Warrior card. That's someone who's been through a lot emotionally. Someone who feels emotionally drained. So there's something on your mind that's emotionally draining you, and this kind of leads me to believe that maybe someone cut out on you, Leo. Um, you weren't expecting this, it kind of happened really quick. And like I said, you could have been dealing with a cancer because cancer had that in your thoughts and you have it in your past issues. Even the clarifier was identical to that card, so you may want to go check out cancer's reading as well. Let's go ahead and see what's in the possible future for you. And remember, future runs parallel to the present, so your actions dictate changing this future card if need be. Uh, six of Cups, so it's normally someone you hold a kinship, someone from your past, someone um, you possibly could have known this person ever since childhood, or you could have some sort of soulmate connection to them. Not all soulmates are the best, especially seeing this other stuff it's more than likely a uh, karmic soulmate with that, with those card, with the cards that are showing up for you. Um, there are some sort of messages in leading to the Ten of Cups or the Ten of Pentacles in the present situation. So, what is that? Um, you could be actually casually dating right now, and. Um, there may be someone out there that is a lot better suited for you with the Ten of Pentacles showing up in the current situation. Let's go ahead and see what your fears is. Leo, yeah, where is Leo's current fears right now? What is, what is Leo fearing? Six of Wands, so you actually want to kind of lay low and you're fearing someone, someone noticing you or someone finding out about you. Possibly you and someone else with the aid of wands in the past, because that's normally um, something to do with communication. And maybe someone who was codependent upon you, you're kind of worried about them coming back in the situation, and um, it definitely shook up your life in some way or form. So let's see what's your environment right now. Your environment right now is well, another card of cancer there. Um, your environment's the chariot, which is actually getting yourself back on the proper path. So you may have taken a big blow in the past, and this is something that requires some sort of course correction. There could be a cancer in your environment, being that that's their card as well. As another card leading towards travel, um, could have something to do with your vehicle right now as well. So let's go ahead and pull you, see what your hopes is in the situation. Your hopes is the Empress, starting something brand new, um, moving away from this whole situation over here with the chariot being there in the environment. Um, Possibly laying low so someone doesn't notice you, more likely someone from your past that mistreated you with a few of these cards in here are pretty harsh energies. Um, like I said, some sort of emotional loss is weighing heavy on your thoughts right now as well, but see, I feel like you're trying to avoid this person with the six of wands in your fears. Um, like I said, this person could have been very codependent upon you. Um, what's in the outcome for Leo? What's in the outcome? Temperance. So that's healing, patience. Uh, in an outcome, I feel like that's some sort of healing that you have coming towards you, Leo. Uh, with the nine of wands in your thoughts, um, you could be getting over a little bit of a, some sort of mental illness regarding this person, some sort of depression that you were going through could uh, be coming to a close here and you could have some sort of healing in your future. Um, there may be some sort of closure also with the Six of Cups in your future being someone from your past. So uh, if anyone does reach out to you from your past, just be careful because there's a lot of negative energy here and there's codependencies affecting your romance right now or your romantic life. Um, 
I do see a need for course correction, and you really don't ever need anyone for closure. Closure can be completely obtained by yourself, just remember that. And I definitely see some sort of healing coming up in the future, so with that being said, um, if this person cuts you out in the past, don't ever, don't worry about waiting for your ships to come in with this person. I would definitely focus on yourself as well as um, definitely yourself with codependencies here right now. I would definitely focus on your finances as well as your self-care right now because you do have a lot of harsh energy here and there is a need for some sort of course correction to get yourself back on path in your environment. But I do see this leading to some sort of healing in your future, and I do hope you enjoyed your reading, Leo. I look forward to doing your next one.